Hey, hey, so I have another Glossier video for you guys, and that is my must-have picks. I have all of the Glossier products. If you don't know already, I am a Glossier rep, and I get a little commission from any products you purchase, which is awesome, because it allows me to create videos for you guys. So I will share my rep link below. So if you want to, be sure to shop with me. I'd really appreciate it. And I've been a rep for almost a year. So I've had a couple, couple years, because I've been purchasing their products before that, since they launched, and I've had plenty of time to figure out the products I love and the products I don't love, the products that I think you should totally buy, as well as products I think you can pass on. And these are based on my opinion and based on my skin type. The reason why I don't like certain products is because of how it affects my skin, if there's any irritation. I do have acne prone, sensitive skin, so any products that don't agree with my skin type, ugh, I get like terrible acne. I scar really bad, which you can kind of see. I didn't really cover it up because I'm showing you guys how the concealer covers. And I want to share that with you guys. I'm not just going to try to push and sell you guys all the products because not everything works for me and I think that is true for everybody else. Not everything's going to work on all of us. So I think it's totally recommended to try out products and figure out what you like and you don't like. But I'm going to be sharing my opinions on these products. So yeah, if you want to know which Glossier products are my absolute favorite must have, then keep watching. So first things first, when you purchase Glossier, you get the amazing bubble wrap pink zipper bag. These are so great when traveling. They're just super cute, super happy. You can use them as your own makeup bag. And they come in three different sizes. They're small. Here's a larger one, which is what your body hair will come in. And then there's a medium size, which was like their original size. And they come with Glossier stickers. I literally stick them anywhere and everywhere. Like on my phone charger. This is a portable phone charger and I have it, st I stick them on there. I even have it stuck on my agenda. They're just super cute. So their branding is adorable. So yeah, anyways, let's get to this review. This is in no particular order. I literally have all of my Glossier in this plexiglass box, which I love. It's actually a drawer from my plexiglass makeup organizer in my bathroom. And I actually keep one drawer of just glossy makeup because I just think it looks so freaking cute. But I did put in all of the skincare and body products in it as well so you guys can kind of see. But yeah, this is in no particular order. So let's get to it. All right, so first up is the Body Hero, and this is their Daily Oil Wash. And surprisingly, I really like this. I, to me, it smells really nice. It smells like Aqua de Parma, which is a really nice, expensive, it's a high-end perfume. So it's a bit fresh, citrusy. Um, the scent is strong. It's not light. I actually really like it and it doesn't irritate me at all. Um, it's an oil, so it's not going to lather when you put it on your body. But I have found out that it does lather does lather with, um, with the loofah. And I really like that because I do, I work out a lot, so I definitely like to feel clean and like scrubbed. But it doesn't lather washcloth, but surprisingly lathers with a loofah. And it's not intended to lather, but I definitely feel clean from it after a workout. And it is a bit expensive. It's 18 bucks. So I think if you want to try a new body wash, try something fresh and new, I definitely recommend experimenting with the oil. Also, I have a lot of Glossier product videos, so I will be sure to link above the corresponding video that I did with the product that I'm reviewing in case you want like a full detailed breakdown of the product and whatnot, so I will link it above. But yes, I did one of the Body Hero Duo. And since I'm talking about the wash, might as well talk about the lotion. And together, these are $35. You can, these come in a duo. But for me, the lotion is actually a pass. It is nice. I love that it leaves a little bit of a sheen and a glow to your skin. But I have really dry skin and I need more of an emollient, really moisturizing lotion. I like it as a hand cream, but as like an all over body lotion, it wasn't enough for me. 
Next up is the Priming Moisturizer. This one for me, I don't love it and I don't hate it. Like it's a, it's a decent product. So if you're looking for a new moisturizer, something that's really light, something that's buildable, I totally recommend it. I think it's looking for something to minimize your pores and kind of a really light moisturizer. I definitely say it's worth the try. But you can also get it in a set and that's the phase one set and that comes with three products. It comes with Milky Gel, comes with the Balm.com and the Priming Moisturizer. It's a great starter set. But yeah, this is a nice moisturizer. If you're looking for something new, something buildable, that's light, I definitely recommend it. I think it's nice under makeup. So I think this one's worth a try. It's not my fave and I don't hate it, but it's good. So that leads me into Priming Moisturizer Rich, which is, and this is their, this is their bougie face cream. It's supposed to be kind of like a La Mer, but not as expensive. This one costs 35 bucks. And this is for the colder months, for those that need more hydration. It's way more fragrant than the priming moisturizer. It has lavender in it. So for me, this was a pass because it irritated my skin, which is so interesting because lavender is actually supposed to help acne. And for me, it just irritated it. It's a little too thick. So many people love it. So many people rave about it. So if lavender doesn't bother you and you love a more moisturizing hydrating cream great for drier skin in those winter months so yeah if you're looking for a thicker hydrating cream and you don't have any allergies to scents or anything with lavender then it's worth a try but for me it was a pass my must have like I could not vouch more for this is the milky jelly cleanser and for me this isn't a face wash like this isn't what I use to cleanse my skin this is actually my first step my makeup remover so when I get home and I'm gonna clean my face I spray it with thermal water wet my face and I go in with the milky gel and I actually kind of like it more to start in my eyes and it's non irritating which is amazing you can literally open your eyes and make sure you're getting all of that mascara off and it's so gentle so going with my eyes pretty aggressively and get all of the nooks and crannies of mascara out and for me this is my first step my first step when I'm about to start cleansing my face it is my makeup remover a lot of people use makeup wipes or a makeup removing oil this is my first step but this isn't a deep cleansing acne face wash this again is my first step towards taking off my makeup and I really recommend it I used it for a couple months as just a cleanser and I was just thinking like why the heck is my face breaking out and why is it still kind of dirty after I wipe it off with the toner great conditioning face wash it's great if you've gotten a facial and you need something that's non irritating if you got some sort of microneedling so they recommend it as that first step makeup remover it is definitely not enough of a deep cleansing face wash so Definitely recommend Milky Gel for makeup removing. Very gentle, doesn't burn the eyes, super easy to use. I really, really love it. It's one of my favorite Glossier products. It costs 18 bucks, but you can get it in the phase one set with the priming moisturizer and a balm.com for 40 bucks. So if you're interested in the prime moisturizer as well as the Milky Gel, definitely go with the phase one set. I absolutely love bomb.com, so I'm gonna go straight into sharing the bomb.com. There are actually six flavors. Yeah, there are six flavors, and number one holy grail product that I love, obviously next to the Milky Jelly, but these I couldn't recommend more. Solve, they're a chapstick. They help with any dry spots. You can use one. The original as like a dewy kind of highlight. They are a cuticle cream. They are just a solve for any dryness you may have. Great for chapped lips. My absolute favorites are mint rose and coconut. Their mint is very minty, very crisp and fresh. The rose is so beautiful, so subtle, so soft. The coconut is literally like being on the beach, that very coconut beachy flavor. I love birthday cake. This is that milk bar collaboration and it has a little glitter in it. So if you want that little bit of a sparkle and a lip balm, totally recommend original is great for if you want something for your cuticles i don't like scents on my fingers maybe dry elbows this is, could be like your all over slob and this is one you could kind of use as a dewy highlight so that's a nice one if you want just a great all over solve and the one flavor i'm not into is cherry i don't know why it reminds me of hall's cough drops it's just not my favorite 
and this one does tint your lips a little bit so that is actually really pretty but yeah the scent just is not my favorite but if you want that little tint and you can push through the scent totally recommend it love 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 bomb.com highly highly recommend individually they're 12 bucks they actually now come in a trio, so you can pick whatever flavor you want and get all three of them, and that's 30 bucks, so you save a couple dollars buying all three of them. Or you can get it, get in the phase one set with the Milky Jelly Priming Moisturizer and a bomb.com. So definite must have for me, bomb.com. Now let's see. Um, all right, now for Wouter. This is actually their mattifying translucent powder. It is okay. I think if you don't have oily skin, it could be a great option for you. If you really like that makeup, no makeup look that's matte, then I think it might be a great option for you. For me, it didn't last long compared to like Laura Mercier's translucent powder. This one doesn't have the longevity to keep me matte all day. And uh, the color that I received was dark and deep, so I definitely recommend going lighter in the color range. So I would probably be medium versus dark deep because this was a little too dark. It was almost like a bronzer type of contour for me. Um, it's not as pigmented as a contour or a bronzer, but it kind of had that tinge of darkness. And it's okay. It's not my favorite powder. It's nice. If you're looking for a new powder, worth a try. It's a pass for me. 22 bucks. And they also have a brush, which is super cute. I did notice, though, not happening, but inside it got kind of loose. If you shake it in, it doesn't bother you, but there's some sort of metal piece inside that got loose in there. Um, I think it's an adorable travel brush. It has this really cute mesh little case. I think it's sweet. It's a great on-the-go brush. Together, you can get everything for 35 So if you're looking for a new powder, why not try it? It's not my favorite. Um, it's nice. It's just not enough of a long-lasting matte powder that I prefer. So that is, I do like the brush. I like how compact it is. But I know you can get any mini makeup brush anywhere else. So it's not a must-have. But if you're a Glossier fan, I totally think it's cute. Why not buy it? But this duo is a pass for me. Now for the face masks. These are sadly another pass for me and that's because of my skin. I have really sensitive acne prone skin. The less I do, the better. My skin isn't the best when it comes to masks and moisturizing. Um, these are raved about, but for me it was a little too much, especially the Galaxy Greens. Bitter orange peel inside and that acts as a bit of an exfoliant. It acts to really cleanse out your pores. Kaolin and avocado oil, so it's a soft clay. It helps your skin balance with the avocado oil. But for me, after I used it, I was a bit patchy, and that's because I have such sensitive skin, and it's so annoying, but it smells good. It smells really clean. It is considered the green juice for your face, and I love a green juice, so I was super pumped to try this and buy it, but it's not for me. And then the Moon Mask is like the post- detox cleansing mask you put on then you're supposed to go in with this moon mask it has almond oil and hyaluronic acid so it's really moisturizing it feels I like it because when you put it on it's cold and it just feels like a really nice moisturizer but it's a mask so you put it on any dry spots you can put it all over but when I put too much moisture on my face my skin gets imbalanced and goes out of whack and so it's just a little too much moisture for me so to me, for these, they are a pass, but if you are interested in trying them for yourself, they're both, you can get them together for 40 bucks, or individually, it's 22, but for me, they're a pass. Next up, Glossier U, and sadly, this is another pass for me, and that's because I noticed it didn't last long. So when I first tried the scent, it just ha didn't last long for me and it just kind of bothered me because I definitely want a scent that's gonna last long. I want to be like Pigpen and Charlie Brown and have a cloud of, you know, scent around me. It's just a thing of mine. I love that feeling. This isn't very overpowering. It's not really aggressive. It's soft, it's subtle, and it didn't last long. Like I didn't smell it on me as the day passed, but if you spray it on your clothes, I noticed it stayed on my sweater. It was like really long lasting on my clothes, but on me it wasn't. 
And another thing for me was that I have a lot of sensitivity to perfumes, and which is weird because I could wear Byredo, Lilabo, no problem. And those are somewhat aggressive to some people, and I can wear them no problem. But I did have a bit of a sensitivity to this. It gave me a headache. It made my nostrils feel so itchy inside. So for me, this is a pass. If you're interested, I definitely recommend the sample. And if you're interested in trying it, it's 60 bucks. So if you want to try it, definitely recommend the sample. Um, but yeah, this is a bottled, super cute packaging. I love the red and pink, but not for me. All right, my other absolute favorites are the halo scopes these are awesome highlighting doing effect sticks these are going to give you this really pretty subtle beautiful glow this glowiness to your skin they're actually made vitamin rich so it's going to give you this really beautiful healthy dewy glow it comes in three colors moonstone quartz and topaz my two favorites are quartz and topaz topaz is this really beautiful bronzy color that really glowy and then quartz is this really beautiful rose gold really nice subtle subtle look love 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 them and then moonstone to me is if you've never tried highlight and you really want a super subtle highlight i recommend moonstone it's a little too subtle for me it'll give you that dewy look but it's not my favorite, not tops. I definitely recommend topaz and quartz, but it's a great starter highlight if you're really interested. And individually, these are 22, but you can buy them in a duo with boy brow and halo scope, and that's 30 bucks. So I'm gonna segue into boy brow because this is another absolute favorite. So if you're interested in boy brow halo scope, I definitely recommend doing the duo. But Boy Brow was the first product I ever tried of Glossier and the product that made me fall in love with them. It is such a nice grooming product for your brow. There's four shades, clear, blonde, brown, and black. I like black and I have clear. Clear would be great if you're a redhead or if you have an amazing brow product that you love and you can't live without, this is a great pomade to just kind of groom your brows. It's not sticky, it's not hard, it doesn't irritate my brows and it's just a really nice soft hold. So if you're interested in a nice brow product, highly recommend Boy Brow. It thickens in a really nice way and it's just such an easy product to use if you're into, if you're a girl like me that's on the go, lazy girl beauty, it's a great Great brow product highly highly recommend and now my absolute favorite product cloud paint I couldn't recommend these more another favorite of mine these are so easy to use if you're not into blush these are so easy to use they're buildable you can mix and blend them just a really nice blush product it really gives you a beautiful subtle glow my absolute favorite is beam it's this really beautiful orangey look and then I like puff which is this really bright energizing pink and then I'll go with dusk which if you have fair skin you can use it as a highlight I kind of add it as a bit of a shadow and then there's haze which is this really beautiful berry color but for me it kind of looks like i have a bit of a rash or like red allergy type cheeks so it's not my favorite mix and blend them together and it really is a great blush i know sometimes cream blushes to people are just a little bit nerve-wracking they like hard to blend but these are a bit of a gel like and a softer formula so they're super easy to blend super buildable and by themselves they're 18 you buy them in a set of two for 30 and now you can buy all five of them for 55 so honestly I think this is a great product a great gift I think if you want it as stocking stuffers or birthday presents I definitely recommend the cloud paint they are my absolute favorite they're universal buildable they work on any skin tone and a must-have for me all right now for the soothing face mist this one I'm going to say is a pass for me. It costs 18 bucks. It's a rose water and aloe spray. And the reason why it's a pass for me because it's not a really even application, but it kind of sprays on my face a bit hard and a bit blotchy. And another thing is I've actually kind of sprayed it around my eyes and it kind of burns. So I personally prefer Mario Badescu's because I know I've sprayed it all over my face and I've had no issues, no problems. But yeah, this one, it's a rose water spray, super simple. I think if you need a rose water spray, you can run down to Ulta or go get Mario Badescu's. I prefer it, but I'm gonna have to pass on this spray. All right, 
And now for the serums, these are supposed to be a great addition. Like the Super Balance is a great hydrator. The Super Glow is to help energize, help with any pigmentation. And the Super Pure is great for any congestion or any pimples. And, but for me, they were a pass. Sadly, what bothered me is I didn't know truly how to use it or layer it with my skincare. Where am I supposed to put it? I know you're supposed to put it before your moisturizer, but like how much is too much? And to me, they were just a little bit complicated. When I used the hyaluronic acid, it was a little bit too hydrating. It was great after I microneedled. Like, I definitely loved it as a post-microneedling treatment if you need a bit of moisture into your face. That's what I loved about it. But as an everyday use, it kind of imbalanced my skin. It was too hydrating. And the consistency is really nice. It feels really soft and great on the skin. But with my skin sensitivity, it just kind of was a little too much. The Super Pure, which is for pimples, I really didn't notice it helped my skin or my acne. If anything, I felt like I broke out more because I put too much on or whatnot. Um, it works great for so many people, I've heard, but for me, I didn't really notice it helping clean my pores and kind of pull out any congestion, so it was a pass. And then the Super Glow, I, ha I didn't notice it helping at anything. I have really intense pigmentation from the acne. And and this is supposed to help with dark spots and scarring, but I didn't notice it helped me at all. It didn't help me at all. It's a bit more watery, so the consistency was a bit odd to me. But yeah, this was a definite pass. If you're looking for a moisturizer, try the Super Bounce. If you want something for your pimples, you don't have crazy sensitive skin, try the Super Pure. The glow, I didn't notice anything. But yeah, these are 28 bucks each. Trio of them for 65 bucks. So if you want to try it, why not for me? I mean, it's a pass. All right, now for the sunblock. So the Visible Shield, 34 bucks. I really wanted to like it. I love the idea that it's a gel. It blends in seamlessly. It smells amazing. It literally smells like a great beach day because of the neroli, which is surprising. Citrus surprisingly smells like beach, like gives you that beachy summer vibe. I really wanted to like this, but it irritated my skin, and I ended up having to pass on this. Now for the Skin Perfecting Tint, and I actually like this. And this is their version of a tinted moisturizer, but lighter than that. So this isn't your full coverage foundation, but if you're a girl like me and you like that no makeup makeup look, very subtle skin-like look, like super subtle, but you do notice a bit of a perfecting kind of look, definitely recommend this if you're really breaking out and you really want to cover your acne this isn't the product for you but i did use it because i definitely like the dewiness and that glow that really natural look it comes in five shades light medium dark deep and rich and i am dark and it kind of goes on a little bit white looking but it actually blends into the skin really nicely and it costs 26 bucks so this one is worth a try to me i actually like it again it's not heavy coverage it's not full coverage it's just like a really if you want a really no makeup look you definitely recommend the skin perfecting tint and getting into the stretch concealer so this isn't your full coverage look like this is going to crease under your eyes it is very moisturizing and hydrating but i don't mind it like i genuinely don't mind it i've set it with my laura mercier powder totally fine and i actually like layering this one so my favorite concealer is tarts shape tape but it is a bit drying on me so I will actually either use this under the shape tape or I will use it over it and then set it it's just really nice dewy look I used to always use the dark to cover up my dark spots sometimes I do if I'm on the go and I'm in a rush but this doesn't really hide them at all but for some reason I really like covering it with them um, so I use dark to cover my dark spots and to have I love a bright under eye I really like that look like I slept eight hours awake look underneath my eye so I use medium as an under eye highlight concealer so I use two I use dark and I use medium individually they're 18 but you can add it actually get it in a phase two set that includes boy brow a generation G and the concealer and if you want to try boy brow definitely worth trying the concealer if you're into experimenting with something new again it is not full coverage but I like it as kind of a layer buildable hydrating concealer and Speaking of the phase two set, I'm going to talk about 
Gen G, which I love. I have three colors. I have Zip, Leo, and Crush, and I like these. I prefer the darker color of these. I think it's I prefer a bit more color. Uh, these are buildable. These are a matte soft lipstick, which is really cool because it kind of feels like a chapstick when you apply, but it's a bit drier as a matte, but it's not as heavy as a matte lipstick. And they adapt to your skin tones. They layer up, they're buildable. Crush gives this really beautiful kind of popsicle stained on your lip. Zip is this really beautiful red. I really like it. It's like a poppy orange red and it builds really nicely. Leo is this like really great neutral brown that I love and I really want to try Jam which is their purple color. But yeah, I definitely recommend these. I know there are some issues about the lids. They're, they easily come off and some girls have had problems where the lipstick fell out of the tube. So be aware of that, but I really like these colors. I don't have cake and like because they're super light and I just didn't notice anything, but I prefer getting the more, the richer and colorful colors in this, in the Gen G. I definitely recommend these. I really like it. Again, you can get it in the phase two set, which is 40 bucks to get the concealer and the boy brow, but you can also get it in a duo with the lip gloss. And I love, love, love this lip gloss. So together these are 26 but by itself the lip gloss is 14 and if you grew up in the 2000s and lip gloss was your thing girl I totally recommend this lip gloss it's not sticky but gives you that really thick glossy lip love 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 it I totally recommend I'm literally running out which is so annoying so I'm to buy a new one but yeah I definitely recommend the lip gloss it's hydrated and has vitamin E in it which is crazy for lip gloss and it's not sticky and it doesn't leak I don't know if you've ever had thick lip glosses and all of a sudden it's like dribbling down your chin super weird but yeah there won't be any dribble and it's just a nice beautiful natural glossy lip gloss highly highly recommend ah that is actually all of oh wait the Glossier sweatshirt. You know it's kind of weird when they first launched a sweatshirt I was like I want a Glossier sweatshirt like that's kind of weird but I obviously I had it gifted as a, it was a rep reward and literally the warmest coziest sweatshirt I couldn't recommend it more so if you want glossy merch I definitely recommend the sweatshirt I've converted into a mega fan of this sweatshirt I've actually cropped it too because it was a little too long on me I have a short torso because I am only 5'1 so yeah that was a thing I did with the sweatshirt but I highly recommend it super cozy super warm and yeah, so that is all of the Glossier products. I hope you liked this review. I hope it gave you some insights. I have my favorite products. I have products that I don't use because they didn't work for me. I hope it was an insightful video for you guys. And don't forget, I'm a rep, so you can shop with me below. I'd really appreciate it. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. I'm really quick with my replies, and I will get back to you as soon as possible. But yeah, I hope you liked this video. I'm like looking at all the products. There's so many on my bed right now. But yeah, I really hope you liked this review. If you do, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I share my personal style and love for easy beauty. So yeah, I will let you go and I'll catch you in my next video. Bye.